everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have got a few things to show you. First of all, I've got some bits from the works. I was in town and I always pop in there. We've got quite a, a nice sized one actually. So, well, there, there's a good range of the craft supplies there. So first of all, I've got this clear stamp set. I have seen it in there before and I haven't picked it up. But actually, I thought I do really like the butterfly images and I like that there is lots of room to be able to colour them myself. So these are going to be really nice with my watercolours and I plan on using my my embossing powders so you know emboss with silver and then add the, the watercolor I think it'll look really nice and for a pound I just think that's really really good so and you've also got that sentiment there make today amazing which I thought was really nice so yeah for a pound you can't go really go wrong then I picked up these ones here and again I've got the slightly bigger size so these were again I believe only a pound simply creative um, collection they're all individually you know, they've all got their own individual adhesive. They're not on a strip, again, which I like, so I've got them. Then these ones I love. I haven't actually opened them yet. They're silver doilies. Now I've got purple, I've got white, I've got cream, and I've got a doily dye. But look at the detail. Let me get something. Here we go. Let's use this here. There you go. You can just... There you go. Aren't they beautiful? Really, really pretty. And these are great to pop on a card and then kind of layer up on top. So you get eight, although it feels like there's more. Oh no, they are quite thick and they've got a coating on the back as well. You can probably just see, there we go, it's just kind of shining there. So yeah, I thought they were really good. Again, a pound. Couldn't see any other colours, but I haven't looked online. So if there are any colours, I'll share the links below as I always do anyway. So I've got that one. Then I've seen this one in there for ages as well. And I hadn't picked it up, but I've been doing some more stuff in my planner. So again, two pound. It's a really nice size. You can see there against my hand. It's a really nice size, big stamp set there. So yeah, pick that one up. Then I've picked up these and I'm so glad that these were in there. So these are the 10 wooden dowels, a pound. I have a very nice gift bag project planned with these which will be coming up um, very soon. I'm not entirely sure when because I've got to shuffle a few other tutorials around but if you are in the works you know over the next few days and you like to do my gift bags get these dowels. So I've brought three packs because they're just handy to have. You can cut them easily as well um, and you can yeah you can cut them with scissors or obviously if you've got a little saw as well but uh, yeah those of you that follow and watch a lot of my gift bags you've yeah you've seen me do things similar but these I'm hoping yeah it's going to turn out really nice. Then I picked up some more six by six craft um, self seal craft bags to keep my uh, finished cards in so I'm run out of my 6x6 six six, so I've just stocked up on them you get 45 for £1.50 so yeah I've got 90 there for three quid which yeah I think is a really good deal so I always get them from the works and then I was really happy that I got the last one in WH Smith and this is the latest Papercraft Essentials and it's the one with Wallace and Gromit oh isn't it adorable so you get this really nice stamp set Bring it up a bit closer there and you can see anybody outside of the UK I'm not sure if Wallace and Gromit is something you will know of I imagine maybe it, I would have thought it's shown on other you know channels around the world but this is just oh Wallace and Gromit you just love them I can't wait again to color those in so I've got them but the, the nice thing is is what you also get all of these papers and they are really really nice they're exactly the same as my um, the Father Christmas ones that I done last Christmas is the same kind of setup. It's the same magazine that done it. Um, I always try and get them when they do these, I guess, more branded die, um, stamps and kind of kits. So this is Wallace and Gromit. That was the Father Christmas from the movie and the books. And then I've also got the Spot the Dog. Um, I think that was Papercraft Essentials. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, so this is the all the papers you get. So these are all pre-die cut. They've got the silver foiling around them. So you've got all these here. Lovely big tags as well. With love, just for you. Happy birthday. These are great for Father's Day um, coming up. They're just really, really nice. Love them all. Crackers about cheese. Time for tea. Uh, Wallace inventing for Britain. Time for tea. Put the kettle on, lad. Cheese. Gromit, silly old pooch. They're all different as well. And then you've got, yeah, happy Father's Day, happy birthday, old chum, cracking job. Lovely, like, trims there to put on, on your cards. And then these papers are gorgeous. So you've got this one here. You've got the wallpaper. That's another wallpaper pattern. Um, but these are nice, thick papers. That one there has just got put the kettle on and tea, Wallace and Gromit. And then it repeats itself. Again, that's like another wallpaper. That one I really like. 
something that's really fun. The colours are so vibrant, they're great. That one there, love all the little cheese in the teapot. You've got the bones there, and then you've got grommet, and then you've got that one. I just think they are so, so fun. Absolutely love this. So I was really pleased that I managed to, because I've been looking for, a, you know, a while. Well, I say a while. I've been looking every time I've gone into a different shop and they hadn't got it. So I was really pleased to get this one here. And uh, yeah, as always, filled with loads of inspiration. So I look forward to, because I haven't had a good read of it yet. So I will be doing that later. I also picked up a couple more brushes. I needed some slightly thicker ones. I've got a lot of thin ones, but I've, and I've got a few wide ones, but I wanted some, different styles so I just got these again from WH Smith the 18 and the half inch they can all come off now and I just need to give them a little soak and um, yeah they should be working perfectly so yeah just a couple more brushes then to put my brushes in I was in the charity shop <laughs> I absolutely love this so this is the pampered chef collection which I know is not cheap and um, this was a pound and it spins. It's a Lazy Susan and I absolutely love this. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I thought, oh my God, straight away. Now I am gonna decorate this. Some of you might be like, no, don't do it. I put this gold washi tape on it, but I've got an idea that I'm gonna paint the bottom part. I'm gonna use some of my gold flakes, I think. And then I'm gonna make a vinyl on my Cricut and I'm gonna have a saying, some word along here. I'm not sure yet, maybe create or something, I don't know. But this is gonna be for just all of my brushes. So I've got my blending brushes, I've got my spatulas, just more of my mixed media, I guess, kind of thing. So I've got all of my water brushes there. But look at it, how good is that? Perfect, so those ones are gonna go in the top there. But you see what I mean? So I've got those ones and I've got, these are makeup brushes, but they're really good as well for blending but I needed a couple of these ones that's what I've got so yeah need to sort it all out a little bit more I have some more brushes that I need to kind of pop in there as well but yeah I've given it a clean up it wasn't too dirty at all really I think it'd been very you know it had very light use but I just love how freely it twirls around so I've been using it already and it works a charm then another charity shop find. I keep everything in glass jars. I love glass jars because you can see what you've got. And sometimes if I'm kind of, I guess, looking for inspiration, I will just look at my stuff and I'll be like, oh, I've got loads of them, what can I do? So in here, Naomi, if you're watching, these are all your red petals that you sent me. Um, so I pop them all in there. And a lot of those flowers that I shared in one of my previous weeks, what did I get? And I, I just said they were a bit naff. I've taken them all apart and they're all in there. And um, yeah, they will get used. So this is a large one. The reason I love this one is it's got that kind of um, bubble look to it. And um, so it looks really authentic, I love it. And for a pound, I couldn't believe it when I saw that one, so I grabbed it. Okay, and then lastly, I received a really lovely package from my friend Tatty. She um, has sent me a card before in the past and we've been you know, chatting on Facebook and she's put together this really lovely package for me, which I was completely overwhelmed with. First of all, I just wanna start off by saying a huge thank you. I've already thanked her, but again, I just wanna say you are a lovely lady and what you have sent me is just amazing amazing so in here she she's she's from brazil but she lives in dublin she's just come back from brazil on holiday and she picked up some rings for me and i was like oh my gosh so she's made this gift box isn't that gorgeous beautiful beautiful gift box and in here let me just show you She's made all of the, the fun foam and she's cut all the little you know holes there to put the rings in. And I've got these rings and I can show you, they all fit. So I'm kind of in between sizes. So I have it, obviously sometimes I might have it in the middle, but I could also have that on that finger. But that is just right up my street. I love that so much. So I've got that one. And then I've got this one here. I do have one similar, but I think my one's a little bit smaller. Again, this kind of fits between the two. Amazing, love it. This one's beautiful, love the sparkle. Look at that, so pretty. You've got me spot on, you really have. You've done so well, they're beautiful. These ones are adjustable. This one's got a butterfly in it, because she knows I love butterflies. And it's got like a glass kind of top there on it. And then this one here's just got this lovely big flower. Again, this is adjustable, so I'll probably have it on that finger. Again, isn't that pretty? I've been very spoiled. So that's those ones. And then she picked up some other ones here. I've got this one, which again is beautiful. Got all the faceted sides, love it. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this one here, this is more for going out. Um, 
again very very glittery but yeah just really really lovely very very thoughtful so I was really taken aback by that and then she sent me some crafty bits first of all I just want to show you I'm not going to um, open it up I keep putting that ring on the wrong side there we go but she sent me this card here which is beautiful these are the flowers from Nature's Grace I recognise those and she's put thank you for being amazing she sent me another kind of letter as well but that I'm going to just keep for myself but she does parchment and it's a um it's a technique that I believe was, you know, originated from Brazil. So it's done a lot over there. And I have seen it before with the card that she'd sent me and I hadn't seen it before that. So she's done another one for me. So she's done all this herself, all this parchment. It's just amazing. So, so pretty. So thank you so much. And she sent me a magazine as well, along with some nail magazines as well. So I can do some nail art. And inside here, she's just put, Dear Sam, thank you so much for all your hard work and for being an endless source of inspiration for me, your friend, Tati. And I did have a little tear in my eye. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't do this for this reason to receive gifts. They, it's just a bonus I guess I just do it because I love it um, and I love you know to read your comments and I love that I inspire you guys so yes that was just such a lovely thing to receive so that's the card this is how the parcel arrived and look how beautiful her writing is ah oh, the dream I would love to be able to do that kind of you know writing I would love to do brush pen lettering you know calligraphy all that kind of stuff and I have tried really I have but I just seem to fail. I'm just not very good. So when this box arrived, I thought it was just so pretty. I'm going to keep that stamp as well because I like to keep stamps. So yeah, thank you again. You are just lovely. So the other few bits that she sent, um, well, I say a few, she sent a lot of things, but I've got these flowers here. These are Fomeranian ones. Oh, bring them down a bit there. So if I open one up there, really nice size as well. I think you just need to kind of stuck on there. Just take that off. These are going to look great again on gift bags and stuff, but aren't they pretty? Really nice, like, mauve kind of colour, I guess. And then I've got the cream ones. And these, I've actually got a spare glass um, jar. She's also sent me all of these. And these are like little buds. Again, I've never seen this before. Look, I've got absolutely tons. <laughs> Look at all of this. Again, she said she had lots herself and she was looking for inspiration as well on what she can do with them. So give me some time, but I will be using these Tatty and hopefully, you know, you'll get some inspiration from that. But aren't they really nice? I love the different colours in them. I think they're really, really sweet. So I'll probably have to break them all down. So don't think they are all going to fit in there. Well, I don't know, it might be all right actually because you can squash them down a bit. Let's have a little look. No, I think I can just about do it. Stick that one on top. Do that one that way as well. There you go. Need to sort them out a bit, but that's their new home. And that's another thing. Again, like I've said, have it in glass and you can see it. So now I will be reminded to use those. And these ones here will fit in that other big glass jar that I've got. And then she sent me some lace. And this is beautiful. I've got this one here. If you can see all of these pieces. So I'm going to carefully cut them in, you know, I might have them some of them together but my plan is to cut them and have that on a card that'd look beautiful on a wedding card or you know anniversary something like that but also a really special birthday card so I'm going to be incorporating my lace there into cards and then this one again because I love butterflies look at that it's gorgeous I couldn't believe it and actually that one it didn't get lost but it kind of it was behind everything else in the box so it was one of the last things I saw there's one on its own there again they're going to look so nice on cards Really pretty, and on gift bags, you imagine an acetate gift bag and you've got these kind of all going up the side. Oh, I've got so many ideas. So yeah, again, really, really kind of you. Such a lovely gesture, so thank you. And then in here it says, Brazilian chocolate filled with flavored truffles. Now you all saw my excitement when the wonderful Sandy from New Zealand sent me all that New Zealand chocolate. So <laughs> now I've got some Brazilian chocolate. So in here she sent me, I've got passion fruit. I have orange. I have cherry, ooh, strawberry, Brazilian peanut candy, mm, that sounds amazing, coconut, oh, yum, 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 and cherry cream. There's not one there I don't like. Maybe orange, I'm not going to lie. I've never been a big fan of chocolate orange, like Terry's chocolate orange and stuff I've never been keen on. 
but every single one I'm really looking forward to trying the passion fruit so yeah I've <laughs> now I've uh, done this video I can eat them because I've um, had it a few days before I've got around to doing the video so yeah again so I've got chocolate I've got craft supplies I've got magazines and I've got a beautiful card so yeah what else can you ask for really it's just lovely really really nice as you can probably tell in my voice yeah it really took me back so I wasn't you know I wasn't expecting that there you go guys that's most of the stuff there there was also some kind of felt that Tati had sent me and I've got ideas for that I've already tried die cutting it and it works so again if you're watching this Tati because she did ask me what she thought would you know work best for it she was kind of a bit stuck with what to do with it so I'm playing around with it at the moment and once I've kind of worked out what I'm going to do with it I will share it in the tutorial um, and like I said a lot of nail magazines as well so I've got lots of reading to do which is great but yeah that's everything I've got this week so the magazine can't wait to crack on with I'm going to start now go and sort out and put all these other crafty bits away whilst munching through all of that chocolate and probably making myself sick <laughs> I'm going to display my beautiful card there as well so thank you guys again for watching I know lots of you really enjoy these now so and it's nice to share it it's a nice way of me to kind of I guess in a way catalogue things so you know if I ever forget something I can always revert back to these so it's quite handy that way as well but um, yeah lots of crafting you'll see these things being used remember to pick these up if you see them and uh, yeah I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye